In this lecture, we are going to see how caching works if we disable caching at cloud services layer. In our previous lecture, we saw how caching works when we execute same SQL statement multiple times with caching enabled at cloud services layer. In order to demonstrate how caching works when we disable caching at cloud services layer, we'll use completely new virtual warehouse. Our new virtual warehouse name will be VM example one. It is of extra small size with auto suspended equal to 3000 seconds. Auto resume is true and initial suspended state will be true. We can go and check what are the currently existing virtual warehouse. We have only one existing warehouse that is compute warehouse. Let's go ahead and create this completely new warehouse. I'm selecting the SQL statement and clicking on run button. Now virtual warehouse is successfully created. One of the interesting property comes when we create a virtual warehouse or when we open any session is nothing but use cache result. By default, use cache result is set to true. That means when we execute query multiple times, it will by default use the cache from the cloud services layer. In this lecture, we will disable that use cache property and make it false. In order to do that, we'll write the statement. And the statement is alt session because this is a session level parameter. Alter session set use cache result equal to false. Let's go ahead and execute this property. Now the session level use cache result property is set to false. That means what we are doing is we are disabling the cache at the cloud services layer. If you do recall, we have the caching at two level, one at the cloud services layer and other at the compute layer. When we disable the cache at the cloud services layer and execute the query again, that query will use the cache from the compute layer. And that is what we are going to verify in this lecture. In order to verify, let's go ahead and execute our SQL statement. Our SQL statement is select start from customer. Here customer is a table which is present under the schema named as tpchsf1000 and this schema present under the database name Snowflake Sample Data. As we can see on the right hand side, we have selected correct user and the newly created warehouse is automatically selected and the status of this warehouse is suspended because that is what we said when we created it. Let's go ahead and select the database. We select the database as a Snowflake Sample Data and the schema will be TPCH SF1000. Now we selected respective attributes. When I execute this statement, our virtual warehouse will go into on condition or active condition. So let's say that I selected it. I just click the run button. Now we can see the virtual warehouse is in active state. The query is running. Let's see some more details about this query. We can see there are bytes byte scanning is going on. Let's click on this query ID. Here it's showing the scan bytes are 11.9%. Road so far scan is 8.3 million. If we go to the profile, it will show us the execution plan for this SQL. Here there are two nodes in this SQL SQL plan. One is table scan. Another is result plan. So we can see these are the two nodes under the under our plan. On the right hand side, there are two sections. One is time execution, and then we have the total statistic. Under the execution time, we can see the local disk I/O is zero. So this local disk I/O is nothing but the compute layer level disk. The remote disk I/O is nothing but the database layer disk. Under the total statistic, we can see the percentage scan from cache is zero. That means this is the first time execution and 
the data is getting fetched from the database and not from the cache. We'll wait for this query to finish. Now query is finished. We can see the total execution time is 2 minutes and 41 seconds. And most of the time is nothing but it's went for remote disk IO, which is 70% and the processing of the record. So these two major activities happen. Of course, there was some initialization because we executed first time. Under the total statistic, the percentage scan from the cache is zero. That means neither from the local disk cache nor from the cloud services cache is being used for this execution. All the partitions are scanned, that is 667. And the same details we have under the details page, to how long this activity took, how much data scanned and how many rows. Let's go ahead and see the details under the worksheet. We can see the similar stats uh, for the history section here, 2 minutes 41 seconds for this execution. Interesting thing here to notice, it used the cluster. So we, because it's a first time execution, hence it is using the cluster. So our call goes to the compute layer and from compute layer go to the actual database layer. Now what we'll do, we have already disabled the use cache result. That means we disable the cache from cloud services. We'll execute this statement again and we'll see whether the cache from the local disk is getting used or not. I'll select this query and we'll run it. Now the second execution going on. Here I can see the just query ID just new generated. We'll see what will happen to this cluster and we'll also see how many records whether it's going to scan or not. Let me go ahead and first click on this query ID. Our first execution took 2 minutes and 41 seconds. We'll see how long this query will take. I'm going to the profile section. Again, there are two nodes in this case as well. First node is table scan, other is result. This query is running. The interesting thing here is we can see the percentage scan from cache is 76%. So there is that means the cache is getting be, being used for populating the result in our response. As we can see, the query got successfully finished in 2 minutes 34 seconds. So that means the cache from the compute layer got successfully used and the percentage scan from cache is 71 percent. So which concludes that when we disable the cache from the cloud services layer, the cache from compute layer will be used. Here we can see there are some statistics generated. Again, it gives us the time, how long it took. We can compare the time between the without cache and with cache. Here we see there is only slightly difference, but if you use the more power warehouse, right now it is extra small. If you use large or extra large warehouse, then performance will be better. We'll see whether the cluster is getting used or not. Now we can see, yes, the cluster is getting used. It will show also the byte scan which is like 10 gigabytes and the number of rows also getting populated. This way we can conclude that when we do not use the cache from the cloud services layer, it will use the cache from the compute layer. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions or queries, you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. If you like this video, then please do not forget to subscribe my channel and enable the notification. Thank you. Have a nice time.